Hello and welcome to Enterprise University. In this exercise, we will learn how to send mass fax messages to target list of customers, prospects, or leads. We are going to simulate group fax message sending. For this exercise, we will need our fax account campaign fax message a target list. In the first exercise, we learned how to create new target list using the target list wizard. We discussed creating campaign in the previous exercise. We have created a default email account for the user John Every After. If you want to create a new fax account prior to sending mass fax messages, please view the fax account setup exercise in the email and fax lesson. We have two ways to create new campaign. Wave first is from the new campaign wave option in the campaign wave menu of the CRM module. The other is from the wave tab of the campaign form. We will create a new campaign wave using the second option. From the CRM module, click on the campaign menu and select find campaigns. From the list of active campaigns, double click on a campaign to select the campaign form will display. Then go to the waves tab. From here, we can view previous campaigns waves we have created. To create a new campaign wave, click on the add wave option from the toolbar. We will add a wave name or general description to our campaign activity. The default wave type is email. We will change this type to fax for a mass fax message sending. The default status of the campaign wave is set to in progress. You can set the status of the campaign as it progresses. We will start sending the fax message right away so we will set the status to in progress. Take note that we can still change the default current dates in the start and end date fields. We can choose the dates on a calendar or simply increment decrement dates using the arrow keys. We can add more details in the details section. Let's add our fax message recipients. From the General tab, click on the drop-down arrow in the Target List field and select Active Retail Customers. Then, click on the Target List tab to view the members of our target list. We can exclude members without a valid fax number by checking on the Exclude checkbox next to the contact name. From the toolbar, there is an option to exclude or include all. Let's save the campaign wave. Here, we are in the Compose Fax tab. From this tab, we can compose our fax message, use a message template, or paste and edit HTML. We have additional option to add mail merge fields and attach files. In this example, we will send fax messages to our active retail customers, unveiling the new products we are offering for the season sale. We will copy and paste a sample fax message HTML and paste it to the HTML editor. We will add mail merge fields to our message. Simply drag and drop the fields onto the design view of our fax message. We can send a test fax message before sending out our mass fax message. Let's go back to the Home tab and click on the Send Test Fax Message option. We can select the email account we want to use in sending a test fax message. We will provide a test fax number and send. Whenever ready, we can send out our mass fax message. To send, click on the Send Fax Message option. We will discuss the following tabs further in the Manage Campaign and Campaign Waves exercise. 
Let's switch to the next tab for opportunities. From here, we can view and create opportunities generated by the campaign wave. Let's go to the next tab for leads. From here, we can view and create lead files generated by the campaign wave. On the next tab for transactions, from here we can view all sales codes and sales order generated by the campaign wave. In the activities tab, we can schedule tasks or events related to the campaign wave. Thank you for watching. In the second part of this exercise, we will learn how to send mass messages.